It was another wonderful day in the beautiful world of Rust. And I'd just loaded into one of my favourite 2x servers, planning to spend my entire wipe living exclusively off the ocean and living that fat pirate life. Before I could even get close to a fishing village, a boat, let alone any water, I found something that was going to drastically alter my plans. Since anything of mine's come out, so I'll just jump on and see what's going on. Oh my god. Right. Jesus, this place is huge. What? What kind of. <laughs> what kind of crazy shit is this? What is going on? Right, I need. Where's TC? Please let this... Oh my god, there's so much. Dude, there is so much. What is going on? It's a supply signal there. Where do you... I need to mark this on the map and get a base down and then come back, I think. Jesus, yeah. Tier 3. What's... Oh, is that, tier... is that TC? TC's unlocked as well. 50... 1500 scrap! Okay, right. Oh my god, there's rockets, there's gut right, okay, I need to um I need to get a little base down. Sharp O. And we'll do it just up here, I think. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Um maybe right up. Shall I just put it right on here? Yeah, I don't care. I just need to get something down. I haven't got any stone, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put a little one by one in and then take the best stuff and put it in here. And then come back for I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest, but right, okay. Um, get some frags. Do this. Right. Fuck it, that'll do. Um, well, that is not the start I was expecting. I'm not going to lie. Put that in there. Keep a sar on me, but I'm going to split that so that if anything does happen, at least I can research some. Because I've got more than 2,000 scrap and I've been on here for 9 minutes and 12 seconds. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, right, okay. Um, so, uh, oh, it's back. Sweet. I don't even, like... I don't even know where to start with most of this. Like, I'm just picking stuff up. Is that one locked? Ooh. If all these boxes are unlocked, and there's craziness in them, what is going to be in the locked one? What the fuck? Um, um, materials can go in the PC. I think a base that size, if I just seal it and try and keep it for myself, that's going to draw unnecessary attention. I'm just going to steal all the good stuff and then just leave the rest of the decay. I think I'll expand that base that I've got up there or maybe build another one maybe a bit further away because I feel like this is going to start drawing attention to itself at some point. And how much scrap do these guys have just in all different places? I need to go and come back again. I'll just pick a box up. I want to know what's in that locked box that's down there as well. I keep seeing, thinking I can see someone running around. Right, this one's this one's for boom. Where's the boom at? Satchels, explo ammo, more boom. Got the boom. We got the boom. That's the main thing. How have I got so many guns? How has any of this happened? Is it scripted? If someone's written a script for this, can they please let me know? Because I'd like to know how easy, uh, how I'm going to make it out of this in one piece. How much is that? Two nine nine. That's enough. That's enough to just do a little bit of expanding. Nah. Where do I put that door in the lock? Right. Let's just 
Let's just do the whole lot of metal, shall we? Armoured foundations. All the way around. Right. Armoured ceilings. Everything else is metal, yeah. Back to loot, I suppose. What in the world, eh? What a way for a stream to start. Mental. Absolutely mental. Right, there we go. When I build a main base, how on earth am I going to shift all this? Or do I just stay where I am? Just hope that no one turns up looking. High explosives, I didn't even see that before. Um, I don't know what to do with it all. There's, I'm about to go back and get a, an entire box full of comps. It's 11 laptops just in that one box. 11 laptops in one box. What? How insane is that? Yeah, I said that. 14 laptops in one box. This place had so much loot in it, I was rapidly, rapidly running out of space. So I made a couple more runs, grabbed as much as I could, and then figured it was probably a best idea to expand and add some honeycomb. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go down to old Decay City, steal the rest of their furnaces, because another furnace is gonna make that jump way easier. It's crazy, I've never built a base that's had enough stuff in it that, re that it required honeycomb. I'm quite impressed with myself. So much metal, bruv. So that's three, six, nine, maybe 10k just off these ones. Knocking on the door. Might be the most annoying dude in the world. What? What do you want? Come on, start knocking. Start knocking, go on, I dare you. Do you think it's a strength? Do you think that's what it is? Could do without getting raided to be honest before I've even managed to achieve anything. So, as much as it pains me to say it, I'd actually rather it was a stream sniper than someone trying to raid me. This stream sniping moron had completely thrown me off my game. So I went and checked out what I thought were some abandoned bases, hit up the gas station to see if there was anything worth having in there, and just when I'd cleared my head and figured I was happy enough to continue, oh, it, this fucking moron again. Where are you? Come on, turn your torch on. Turn your torch on. It's got to be someone stream sniping, isn't it? It's got to be. Fuck him. Idiot. I did my best to ignore him, but he just wouldn't leave. Oh, it is. It's bloody stream sniping. Last time I'm doing this. This is starting to get one way. <laughs> fucking moron. Absolute fucking moron. This guy had annoyed me so much that I decided that it was enough for today. But I thought before I got off, maybe I'd try and raid a couple of these little bases that were down in the water to try and finish on a high note.
It's a fucking boat base. Alright, well let's have a look next door then. Thank you so much, Rust. Come on, fingers crossed for something good, boys. Oh, well, that was always going to happen, wasn't it? Let's be honest. That was always going to happen. It was a real anticlimactic end to the day, especially when I logged back on in the morning only to see that the stream sniper had farmed up a raid and taken over my entire base. I got a good amount of BPs out of it, but all in all, it feels like a bit of a wasted effort, and definitely a waste of all that loot. But you live and learn, and there's always next time.